Welcome to Greenhouse. I'm Tony DeCopo. Last year, the clothing company Land's End broke free of its woebegone and prestige-challenged challenge, parent company Sears, and it hired a former Dolce & Gabbana executive to guide it as an independent brand. But while the company may be getting more glamorous, it's not going to be any less green. Land's End was already reusing or recycling 90% of the waste at their corporate headquarters. The goal now is to make the company a zero landfill organization, a place where literally nothing is wasted. That means composting more food scraps and reducing paper use. No small thing for a catalog company. I recently sat down with the new CEO of Land's End, Frederica Marchioni, to talk about the company's legacy of sustainability and how she plans to continue it. Take a look. Uh, Frederica Marchioni, the new CEO of Land's End. It's a very old company. It's a very famous American company. I think it was founded by an environmentalist. Uh, have you found that it still has uh, those environmental roots in action? Definitely. And uh, this is one of the fascinating reasons why I joined the company. Uh, we share a similar value and principle of the founder. I never met him, unfortunately, uh, but I feel very close to him and to his principle. He wanted his people to be uh, good business people, but uh, also good stewards of the heart. Uh, so he was talking about global warming uh, back in his uh, days, and he founded the company um, in 1963, so long time ago. It's an iconic brand. Uh, your experience in, in fashion uh, is with a very different sort of company. Uh, you came most recently from Dolce and Gabbana. Someone had to tell me how to say that before you came here. Um, What's it been like to make a shift from what is considered more high fashion to more of a rugged, traditional American brand? I can bring a lot of uh, experience uh, that I uh, had in, uh, in the luxury business. Uh, you learn uh, many things, included uh, to be very competitive, to win competition every single season, and to conceive uh, projects globally. And uh, through all my career, I actually trained for today's job. Uh, the company were looking, was looking for uh, somebody that has my skill set, so I think that we are the perfect fit for this job today. Um, and what is it about your skill set you think was most attractive to them? The global uh, approach of the business the expertise that I have on making a very strong product offer uh, from the low hand to the uh, high hand. Um, I worked in a different project uh, with Dolce Gabbana that were more uh, appealing to uh, the mass consumers. Um, and um, the uh, strategic vision to build brands uh, that is another strength, of course. Uh, I am very much uh, P&L oriented. That means that a company can trust that I can bring also not only growth but profitability. And my other things which makes me closer to the company is the uh, adaptability and uh, uh, the values that we are talking about. Lensam is uh, known for quality uh, product and great customer service and I always wanted to serve my client in the best possible way. So the expertise of being close to the customer uh, and please them as a first uh, object. Plans End, somewhat to my surprise, is uh, already engaged in a number of sustainability programs. Uh, what are some that stood out to you when you joined? That the company does a lot every year. Uh, complete 20 eco-friendly project, among which uh, they uh, recycle and reuse 90% of the waste produced in the headquarter. This is impressive. I guess uh, reducing your waste is a bit like reducing your waist size, your weight, the last 10%. You know, that's the hardest part, the last 10 pounds. That's what I will do in the future. What I would like to do with the sustainability project is to uh, leverage on what we have and bring it to the next uh, level, so uh, in increase the efforts that we do uh, to eliminate waste completely. One of the, the programs that jumped out to me was the tree planting program, National Forest Alliance? Yes. Uh, uh, this is are you one 
you're going to move to the treetops? Is the future of the company in tree houses? Well, no, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we are. Uh, this is one key of replenish uh, resources. So you can uh, plant new trees. And this year, I signed uh, a, an agreement with the National uh, Forest Foundation, expanding our partnership to plant one million trees. Uh, and uh, for her day, for example, we gave one tree to our employees. Wow. Yeah, it's impressive. Uh, the Wisconsin roots uh, and the connection to environmentalism is definitely very deep. Um, what's the campus like? Uh, you live here in New York City, uh, but Land's End is an outdoors uh, kind of company, and it's got a big, expansive space in Wisconsin. I've never been there. Tell us about it. First of all, I'm saying that Land's End is the best kept secret. When you go there, you fell in love with them, and that's what happened to me. Uh, second, I see uh, the more I know Land's End, the more I think, and I will make sure that the people know that Land's End is uh, for everyone, everywhere. So not only uh, outdoorsy. Uh, the uh, buildings uh, that we have there uh, welcome uh, you so uh, graciously and warmly. Uh, and you see people in action. Uh, they deliver uh, the promise of guaranteed period. Uh, I think it's one of the best company I could have worked for. So uh, in that environment, to me, it's not so new because I was uh, uh, explained to uh, my team that even if I travel the world, I was based in Milan working for the headquarters of Dolce Gabbana, but uh, I opened many markets with them uh, from Japan, Russia, Middle East, and, and Europe, and the U.S. Uh, for different uh, product category. But um, my origin is actually from a very little country village near <laughs> Rome, so of 500 people. So wow. I have the feeling of what is about staying and living in Dodgeville. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had a similar experience in Ferrari because Ferrari is also based uh, in a very small uh, country village uh, near Modena called Maranello. Uh, so I think that going there, it's going back to my roots in a way. And uh, uh, But we need to have also a presence in New York, as we do have. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I am back and forth uh, and use New York as a uh, an hub for uh, the global world. Uh, do you see the, sustain the sustainability programs in terms of values or are they something that's good for the bottom line as well? It's definitely good for the value because we believe in it. It's not, uh, it's an authentic story and uh, that's what the best that uh, we could possibly have. Uh, but I do believe personally that today the company needs to see the triple, uh, triple um, bottom line. Uh, so profit, uh, people. More profit. More, more profit. profit. <laughs> <laughs> but people and environment. Uh, one of the coolest initiatives, I think, is the catalog waste production idea. Can you tell us about that? I'm very proud of that. Uh, that I initiated that in the uh, her day uh, because I sent to um, to our customer a letter to do to conduct a survey. We are obsessed by giving to uh, the client the best service. Uh, and taking in consideration that feedback. So I didn't want to make uh, a decision without including them and asking them uh, what's their opinion because we would like to strike uh, the right balance between serving them successfully uh, and uh, reducing our carbon footprint uh, by reducing the number of catalogs that we uh, print every year. Uh, but they need to tell us uh, uh, if they are really engaged with this uh, sustainability project, and I call it lens friendly, and if they really want us to go uh, into that direction. I hope so, and I believe that they are, but it's good to have their opinion first. Uh, one of the more, uh, one of the hipper trends in sustainability circles is the idea of moving away from fast fashion into sort of slow fashion. Fast fashion is disposable clothes. You buy something cheaply, you wear it two or three times, it looks terrible, and then you throw it out and you get another one, and the waste builds up. Uh, it would seem to me that one of the, the selling points of Land's End is you buy it once, and you buy it once, that's it. 
our products are very quality product and uh, you use it and we use it even the kids products you can pass on your uh, other kids mm, so uh, this is one of the strengths of the company and to me quality it's really a very important point and the core business is very important so I would like that our consumer will use our product for a long time, but they're already doing it and we will do even more in that sense. Land Zan is already doing so much on the sustainability front. What else, do you, what else can you do at this point? Well, this is a constant journey. Uh, and uh, I hope uh, everyone will join me to be lens friendly today and every day. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Luke Russer. Thanks for checking out our MSNBC channel. Subscribe by clicking right here and click any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift, and other digital exclusives. Check it out.